Hi, my name is Sia and I'm a sophomore mechanical engineering major and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I first heard about Texas 4000 at my freshman orientation. Um, I wasn't really sure if this was something I wanted to do, but I looked more into it as the year started and as I got busy with school and I realized this was something I was really passionate about and thankfully my roommates were there to support me and encourage me to apply. Um, and yeah, I'm just really grateful for this opportunity. So the person that I ride for is my high school mentor, Mr. Mike Young. Um, he was teaching me astronomy throughout my senior year of high school. And in like February or March, he told me that he'd been diagnosed with stage one esophageal cancer. And this was my first real experience with cancer. No one in my family has ever had it before. And I didn't really know how to react or like if there was something I could do or like how I could help in any way. Um, but as time went on and Mr. Young sent out emails on his updates and his treatment, um, I learned that there wasn't much else to do but send my love and my prayers and my support and tell him that I'm still thinking about him. I'm still praying that he's okay and that he gets through every single day of this awful disease. And um, thankfully, Mr. Young was able to recover from his cancer and he's now cancer free. And um, if there's something I realized from this and something that he was able to express to me, it's that the power of love and like compassion and prayers, everything that I thought was, oh, it's just love. It's just everything that I thought was just not going to help him actually is what he said got him through this cancer and was the reason that he was able to overcome and beat his cancer. So um, I just really, it breaks my heart knowing that there are people out there that don't have the kind of support that they deserve while they're going through this. And um, I was just motivated to join because I want to be able to give my love and support to people along the ride and people that we meet throughout this program. Uh, I want to do everything that I can to help show others that they're not alone in their fight and that I'm there to support them and that we as a team are there to support and do everything that we can to help them beat their cancer. So Texas 4000 has not only impacted my life, but it's pretty much become my life. It's all I talk about with my friends and family. It's If you look at my Facebook posts, it's all I post about on Facebook. Um, everything that I'm really passionate about right now is coming from Texas 4000 and I'm not ashamed to say that at all. Um, everything that we've done in the past year-ish um, has been extremely meaningful to me. Like the times that we volunteered with hospitals and the different um, rides that we volunteer with, everything that we do has just been, has impacted me in some way or another. And I'm just proud to say that I'm like part of this organization and that I'm helping in some way beat cancer. I think the hardest part for me about Texas 4000 is actually gonna be when it's all over, when we get to Alaska or when we get back from Alaska after 70 days of spreading hope, knowledge, and charity across the uh, country, and it's just suddenly over. We're not biking anymore, we're not seeing each other every day, camping every night, interacting with hosts, giving programs, everything will just kind of seem like it suddenly is just cut off and done. And for me, because Texas 4000 has had such an impact on my life, it's gonna be a bit different next year, coming back to college and not posting about Texas 4000 every day, or getting to wear my jersey around campus, and just knowing that in some way I'm part of this amazing organization that spreads hope, knowledge, and charity, and it's just gonna be kind of different for me. The thing that I need to remember is that even though we're not biking anymore, and even though we don't have our Monday meetings and weekly workouts, the purpose of Texas 4000 is still there. It still exists. We're still making it a goal to fight cancer in every way possible, and even though I'm not wearing the jersey, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be any less passionate about this cause. I still have the hope that my loved ones and that their loved ones don't get cancer and I still have the hope that those that do get and have cancer are able to overcome it with a smile on their face and say that they were strong enough to beat cancer. Um, but my main purpose is to share that hope with others and let them know even after Texas 4000 that we're still fighting for them and we're always going to be riding for them. Thank you.